This recipe is mouth-watering. I'm going to teach you step by step how to make the best shredded chicken that is so easy to prepare. You can make it every week. It's a perfect match for sandwiches, pizzas, a great choice with potatoes and other vegetables. It's a special recipe you can prepare for a weekly snack, especially if you don't have much time to cook during the week due to work and daily hustle. Yes, you can consume it for up to a week if you keep it in your fridge. It tastes wonderful with cream cheese, trust me. Moreover, this recipe is super healthy, rich in vitamins, and a good source of protein. Before starting the recipe, I'd like to ask you to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share. With your support for Very Very OK, we'll bring even more valuable content with relevant knowledge and delicious recipes. I'll list the ingredients in the video description. Let's get started. Here I have about 1 kilogram of raw chicken breast. If you wish to make half the recipe, you can. This amount of chicken is enough for several meals throughout the week. Now I'll start removing the chicken skin. You can do this with your hands, it's easy. Next, I'll cut the chicken into small pieces or cubes to simplify the process. After chopping the chicken into smaller pieces, I'll use a large pot over medium heat with enough water to cover the chicken. I'll cook the chicken for around 15 minutes once the water starts boiling. The cooking time may vary depending on your pot and the amount of chicken. While the chicken is cooking, I'll begin the next step, preparing the ingredients and seasonings. Here, I have three garlic cloves. I'll finally chop the garlic for enhanced flavor. Garlic is an excellent choice if you want to eat healthily, it's great for the immune system. I'll set aside my garlic for later use. Next, I'll use half an onion, finely chopping it to add alongside other ingredients. Finely chopped onion makes a big difference in this recipe, making it even more flavorful. I love this recipe, it's very practical and delicious, and I guarantee you won't regret trying it. Here, I have a red bell pepper. I'll use half of it, and just like I chopped the onion, I'll chop the red pepper into small pieces, then set it aside for later. I'm a big fan of parsley, so I'll add some for that special flavor. I'll finally chop the parsley, but this ingredient will be added towards the end of the recipe. Another ingredient I recommend is olives. I have about 14 seedless olives here, which I'll finally chop and set aside for later. On the Very Very OK channel, we have a special video about the benefits of olives. I suggest you watch it as olives are rich in properties worth knowing about. As you can see, I've cooked the chicken for approximately 15 minutes on medium heat after it started boiling. Now I'll remove the chicken from the pot and show the next step. The chicken is still hot, so you can use a knife and a fork to shred it. It's a process that requires patience when done this way. Shredded chicken ensures more flavor as the seasonings meld into the chicken, which is why I prefer shredded chicken, I love flavorful and well-seasoned food. If you want a quicker way to shred the chicken, you can use a mixer or food processor. It's very convenient and significantly speeds up the process. In seconds, I'll shred the chicken. I prefer doing it in two batches, shredding half first, then the remaining half. Just be cautious not to overshred, but that's according to my preference. As you can see, the chicken is shredded nicely but isn't powdery. That's the texture I like. After shredding, I'll set it aside in a container. 
The next step is to season the chicken with natural seasonings, which are healthier and better for you. In a large pan, I recommend a big one for easier mixing, I'll add 3 tablespoons of coconut oil. This coconut oil doesn't taste like coconut and adds a special flavor to dishes. I'll start by sautéing the garlic, I like to brown it slightly, which is one of my secret flavor tips. After browning the garlic, I'll add the onion and red bell pepper, stirring well over medium heat until nicely sautéed. After sautéing the onion and bell pepper, I'll add the shredded chicken. You can reduce the heat, then, on low heat, stir the chicken well. I'll add a teaspoon of turmeric. Remember, the chicken is already cooked, so this step is mainly to mix the spices and cook on low heat. I'll also add black pepper, which adds a unique flavor to the chicken. Now, I'll turn off the heat and mix in the remaining ingredients. I'll add a teaspoon of quality salt, which makes a big difference, quality salt is excellent for health, but adjust the salt according to your preference. Lastly, I'll stir in the parsley, olives, and 3 heaping tablespoons of tomato sauce. I'll mix well, and finally, add oregano, which is great for health and adds a special flavor. Look at that! My chicken is ready, and as you can see, there's enough for the whole week. Now, I'll show you a quick sandwich. You can assemble any sandwich you like with this chicken. I toasted some bread and have some cream cheese here. You can also add mayo. Stay tuned on Very Very OK as I'll soon share a healthy mayo recipe, so hit that like button and subscribe. Look how quick it is to assemble a shredded chicken sandwich. This chicken, paired with a vinaigrette salad, is a great option. You can find this vinaigrette recipe right here on the Very Very OK channel. We'll soon bring more practical and delicious recipes and a lot more relevant and knowledgeable content. So, subscribe, like, and thanks for watching the video, very very okay.